transmitted by all means of communication back to Star Talk. And by the way, Colin, if we want to find you, you're the Colin Jost. That's right. On Twitter. Yeah. So it's like, and I've been enjoying all your tweets about uh, Mars too. Oh, all thank the you. Curiosity. It's so it's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of great Mars facts that I did not know. So before the break, you left off with a question. Who's it from? Uh, this is a question from Drew McDowell. Drew McDowell. So he'd asked about the uh, Star Trek: The Voyage Home, mm -hmm. Star Trek Four, mm -hmm. which has been dubbed "Save the Whales." Right. <laughs> right. That's the the That's subtitle right. of that show. That's right. Where they go back in time to the present day of the time of the film. So it was 1984, I think it was, or 85. And so he wants to know, is there an actual speed with which you can swing by slingshot past the sun, such as what they did in that show, right. in that movie, in order to go back in time? Right, and it's, it says, can you use the sun's pull, but is there a safe enough distance that it wouldn't just pull you in? Yeah, so first of all, you cannot do what they did in the show. In, in the movie. Regardless. Right. Of Regardless, that. right. So <laughs> so just would nip that one okay. in the bud. Yes. Okay, so, and uh, the only way you could do something like that is if you had vastly more powerful gravity than the sun. And you needed a, the, the fabric of space and time has to be so warped that, uh, in fact, there's a colleague of mine who studies this. His name is Rich Gott. In fact, he's been on Star Talk before. Uh, he wrote a book called Time Travel in Einstein's Universe. And he found an, uh, a solution to Einstein's equations that allows backwards time travel with the kind of a slingshot trajectory, but not around the sun. The sun does not disturb the fabric of space and time nearly enough. What to would, pull what's the kind of thing that would? Two black holes that are in wow. orbit around each other. And so you'd have to do a kind of a, a, a wiggly path around these black holes, and you can end up in the past of your own world line before you had left to go on that trip. Whoa. Yeah, it's it's a very whoa moment. And so, Star Trek, it was more exciting to do it around the edge of the sun. Uh, of because course. of visually, rather than just two black things yep. in space, which is already black. Uh, but, uh, in principle, they, but in fact, I don't know that this equation had been discovered at the time the movie was conceived. They surely would have tapped it. They've got very good writers for Star, yeah. for Star Trek. So, so yeah. And now, in terms of how close you can get to the sun, the, the ship, unless it had deflector shields working against thermal energy... Uh, the ship would have just vaporized. 